Skillshare, the learning community with thousands of online classes for curious and creative people. Can you tell I've seen a Skillshare ad one, two, maybe 500 times? If you haven't heard of Skillshare, it is a platform that hosts a number of different courses on a subscription basis. You can subscribe monthly or annually, and then once you're a member, you have all access to all of the premium and free courses. They do have a free program as well, but the courses are very limited. As an avid YouTube watcher, I have heard about Skillshare numerous times. And as a new content creator slash YouTuber myself, I still have a lot to learn about video creation and video editing. So I decided to give Skillshare a try in order to learn how to use Final Cut Pro to level up my video editing. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and let me know what you think down below. So for the first 20 or so videos that I made, I used the program iMovie, which I found very easy and intuitive to learn. Now iMovie definitely does not offer as many options as a more advanced platform, such as Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. I decided to upgrade to Final Cut Pro because I do edit on my iMac, as you can see here in the back. So I felt like it was a good program that would work on my computer. So Final Cut Pro is definitely more advanced and even just watching a number of Final Cut Pro videos on YouTube, it just wasn't sufficient to really get a good grasp start to finish on how to use the platform. So for this reason, I thought it would be the perfect skill to learn on Skillshare so I really could give this online course platform a try and see if it is really worth the hype. I decided to take Ali Abdal's course called Video Editing with Final Cut Pro X from Beginner to YouTuber. Ali Abdal is a doctor located in the UK who creates videos on productivity as well as videos helping content creators. I've heard of Ali Abdal prior to taking this course, but I hadn't seen his YouTube videos prior to taking his course on Skillshare. So first off, I really enjoyed this course and I really enjoyed Ali's teaching. Watching this course from beginning to end was definitely more effective than watching just fragmented videos on YouTube on a single creator snapshot advice on how to learn Final Cut Pro. So the course definitely felt like a classroom setting where you really do follow along, it's very hands-on and he takes you step by step each, like it's basically a tutorial where you are invited to follow along and really take action in creating a video video yourself. So in terms of reviewing this course, I have nothing but positive things to say about it. It was super well organized. Ali Abdal is an amazing teacher and I think he has a lot of knowledge that he is really good at sharing. And so of course this video is not reviewing that course, it is reviewing the platform of Skillshare. But I just thought I'd make a note of that. If you do have a Skillshare subscription, I do highly recommend this course. All right, so now I'm going to share with you the process of signing up for Skillshare and a few things I learned in order to get the best deal that I'm sure Skillshare doesn't love me sharing with you, um, but it definitely will help you if you are looking to get a better deal on the Skillshare membership. I don't think I'm ever going to get a Skillshare sponsorship after this. So to start with the basic costs, Skillshare costs $168 for the annual membership. And if you opt for the monthly membership, it costs $32 monthly, which in my opinion is very steep. You can tell by the way the cost is structured that they want you to subscribe annually and stay subscribed for a long period of time. So I used a code to get a free two week trial. I will use Ali Abdal's link down below if you would like a two week trial, but I've seen many YouTubers offer this promotion in their sponsorship. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find, but that is what I used to get the first two weeks free. I think if you don't use that, it's one week free for the free trial. So right off the bat, as soon as I signed up for Skillshare, I was presented with a discounted annual rate if I decided to opt in before my trial even started. I felt like this was a little sneaky because I haven't even had a chance to try Skillshare. So I didn't feel comfortable for opting into that promotion. And I think that's the price that a lot of YouTubers do advertise in their ads at $10 a month. I was never offered that rate ever again besides the time that it offered to me before my trial even started. So when I first started the two week free trial, I was planning to use it a lot more during that two week period so that I could get a really good grasp on if I really liked liked Skillshare as a platform. Unfortunately, life got really busy for me and I wasn't able to get on Skillshare as much as I thought I would in that two week period. And the end of that free trial came very quickly. So although I was hoping to sign up for the annual membership after my free trial, I felt like I just really didn't have a good grasp. So I did decide to cancel my two week membership or I tried to. So when I hit cancel, it then offered me an additional free month. So 
If you do want to cancel it, I would give this a try. Worst cases, you can always rejoin if they don't give this offer to you. But if you just need more time, I got a whole additional free month, which was really great. So this was enough time to complete Ali's course. And I really learned a lot with Final Cut Pro. And I was really on the fence if I wanted to pay $168 for the annual membership. Because there are a lot of classes on Skillshare that I was interested in taking, but that is kind of expensive for something I'm not sure if I'll actually have time to use now that life is getting a lot busier for me. So here is the real tip. I decided to cancel once more. This time my cancellation went through and I was like, okay, you know, I had a whole month and a half to really judge Skillshare. And if I really want, am ready to take a class and really commit to it, I will just resubscribe for the annual membership and then I will go from there. But then within the same day, they e emailed me a promo code to get 50% off of the annual subscription. So I decided to take them up on that and redeem that deal. Um, so it was definitely by far a better deal than if I just had signed up. It's pretty clear to me that Skillshare will do just about anything to make sure that you are still subscribed. And they do this because I'm pretty sure they know that once you are subscribed and your payments are on auto payment, it is so, so, so easy to forget that you're subscribed. So I do have to say that play a little hard to get and you may be able to get a discount if the rate is too high for you, but just make sure to stay on top of that subscription and cancel it if you are not using it. All right, so now I'm going to share with you my final thoughts on my first six weeks using Skillshare. I do have it for a whole nother year, so I will really be able to deep dive into more courses than just the one, but I wanted to give a snapshot of if I would recommend giving Skillshare a try after I finished one full course and watched a variety of intro videos for a number of different courses. So I'm going to be following my same review format that I do for every unsponsored review. So I'm going to answer four questions that will give you a full picture of whether or not I think that you should give Skillshare a try after trying it myself. All right, so although I've only completed one full course so far, I have taken a look at a number of different courses and their intros, and every single course that I saw the first video of looked extremely professional, and the creators seemed very knowledgeable, which is important when you're trying to learn a new skill. So for that, I definitely do like Skillshare, and I think it's a really great platform. So yes, I will definitely continue to use it, especially since they gave me that deal to sign up annually. <laughs> I feel like, of course, I will like opt in for more if the price is right, um, because it is a great platform. And I did think that I had a lot of good uses, so I'll definitely continue to use it. As a novice YouTuber myself, I still have so, so, so much to learn, and there are a ton of different classes on Skillshare for how to do video creation. So I'm looking forward to taking more of those classes, but they also have just a lot of other creative classes as well. So I will definitely continue using it, and I will try to watch as many courses as I can before my year is up. All right, so after this year, I will likely not resubscribe to Skillshare. And the reason being is I feel like with Skillshare, it is great if you actually have a skill that you are really looking to learn. If you're just a passive learner and maybe you're like me who like didn't really love the classroom setting of learning, then realistically, it's like a, you think your future self's gonna want to learn, but your present self, maybe not so much. All right, so yes, I would recommend Skillshare, but this is who I would recommend Skillshare to. So I would recommend Skillshare if you have a very specific intention to take the course. So if you potentially are very busy like me and you don't have a lot of free time, it's probably not a great idea to sign up for Skillshare. If you have a lot of free time and you have dedicated hours that you plan to take these classes and you can make a clear plan on when you're going to actually follow these courses and complete the projects, then absolutely. I think Skillshare is a really great learning platform and it has a lot of really, really useful information. And you're going to get that information a lot quicker and efficiently compared to just watching YouTube videos. Now, if you're a casual browser and you just wanna watch videos for fun and maybe pick up a new skill, learn something new, I do not recommend Skillshare. And the main reason for that is because it's actually really expensive and I feel like the subscription model can be a little sneaky. I feel like it was actually kind of difficult to, to cancel my subscription. It kind of kept on making me wanna come back and they do that on purpose, but you just have to be aware of that sneaky marketing when you're signing up so that you're more proactive, you set your reminder to cancel your subscription and you make sure not to get scammed because Skillshare can easily become one of those things, especially if you're subscribed monthly where you forget about it and then all of a sudden you're getting charged $32 a month. That's kind of crazy. So 
I would only recommend it if you have a specific skill in mind with a specific time frame that you are planning to take these courses. Now in terms of the monthly versus annually, because the monthly rate is so much higher, it just makes so much more sense to, to subscribe annually. And I think there is so many classes to learn that like one annual subscription is probably going to be sufficient and you're probably going to still continuously learn those new skills. And when you think about it, $168 for a whole year of courses is not a bad rate. But again, you don't get to keep these courses, so you can't wait till tomorrow to take the course. You have to complete it in the time that you're subscribed. So just be careful. That's all I have to say, just be careful. So after this experience, I really, really enjoyed using Skillshare and learning Final Cut Pro. It definitely helped me learn that new skill, and I appreciate that. And now I'm a new subscriber to Ali Abdal's YouTube channel, and so I'm definitely excited to learn more from him because he is a really great creator. I will link his channel down below as well, as well as I will list the course that I took if you do want to take that in Skillshare and you want to learn Final Cut Pro as well. I hope you enjoyed my review. Let me know if you've ever tried Skillshare or if you are interested in trying Skillshare. And if you enjoyed this review, please like this video so that I know to make more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it more than you know, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thanks.